All right, this is a Permobil M300 HD for heavy duty. This is Permobil's heavy duty power chair. This one has a 450 weight capability, 450 pound weight capability. It's got the extra large 24 by 24 seat. We do not know the mileage on this chair. We cannot seem to be able to get the mileage off the joystick. A lot of time we can do it, but on this one, we cannot get the mileage. I'm only going by the wear and tear on the wheels. Uh, I would say this chair was used between six months and a year at the most. Between six months and a year, I would say it probably has maybe 300 miles on it. So, uh, but it, it is excellent condition, works perfect. Um, so let's go over the details. It does have the eight inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, and the electric legs. It has other features, which we'll cover in a minute. It even has a light package. Uh, but first of all, let's look about the seat lift. So all the functions can be worked through the joystick or through the switch box. If I hold the button down on the first, that is your eight inch seat lift going up. So you're gonna start roughly at 22 inches. By the time the seat is all the way to the top, you'll be roughly at 30 inches. You can see the seat lift back under there, okay? So right now we should be at 30 inches right here. The chair will still drive. Um, the chair will not drive, okay. Sorry about that. The M300, because of the seat pole, the way it's fixed, it will not let you drive it with the seat elevated. So if you want to drive this chair, you have to bring the seat back down, the sensor will click off, and then you can drive it again. So no, on these heavy duty chairs, on the M300, none of them will be able to drive with the seat elevated. So I'm gonna bring the seat back down. Well, let's, let's look at the base while we're at it. These are the original tires, so you can see the wear on the tire is not that much. You can see the tires right here, but they was, it was used a little bit, okay? These are the original 14 inch tires. This is a mid-wheel drive. You've got your seven inch caster wheels in front, seven inch caster wheels in the back. You've got your solid anchor point here and your solid anchor point on this side. You have one for each side. So you have a total of four, two on each side. You also have, let me bring the seat down. You have a motor for each, mo a motor for each wheel. We'll bring the seat all the way down, then we'll turn the chair. So as soon as the seat is down, it goes back to green, and now we should be able to drive, yes. There's a motor right here in the front. I don't know if you can see it from over there. Maybe if I extend the legs out, you can see the motor better. There's a motor here, and there's another one on the opposite side. If I was to push this chair right now, this chair weighs in excess of 400 pounds. So I would put the power off, and right on top of the motor, only on the M300, in the M3s, the motors are towards the front and they go towards the wheel. Right on top of the motor, you can see a little screw where my finger is. There's a little cap. If I push it out towards me, right there, what that does, it unlocks, it unlocks the wheel. You can see the wheel's unlocked. You gotta do both motors and you can push the chair if you had trouble with the chair. Push the lever back towards the inside and now we're back in gear. The reason you want the power off, you don't want no resistance when it's in neutral, when you're pushing, because this chair is a heavy chair, 425 pounds, maybe 450 pounds. Very heavy, heavy power chair. So I'm gonna turn the power back on, and I'm gonna turn the chair back sideways. The next, the next feature I'm gonna show you is called the electric tilt. The electric tilt is the base right here, going back, and that means when the base goes back, it takes the legs and it takes the back because all three of them are connected together. So this is called your electric tilt. The next feature I'm gonna show you is called the electric legs. Your legs are adjustable, so if you're five feet tall or six foot two, we can adjust those to your height. So if you needed some good circulation, this would be extreme. But if you're only halfway tilted, you can still get some circulation. So if I bring the seat back down to halfway tilted. So right here, you'll still be able to get some good circulation. I'll bring the seat all the way back down. So now we've covered the eight inch seat lift the electric tilt, the electric lags. 
the last electrical function is called the electric recline. The electric recline is just a back going back by itself. You can see it going back. That's called the electric recline. And we'll see how far this one's going to go. <clears throat> so this is as far as, on this one, this is as far as the back will go. So if you're laying in this chair, it will not go any further than this. This is the way it's set up. So if I bring the recline back up and I'm going to bring the legs back down, I'm doing two, two buttons at once here to save time. So when you're outside, make sure you leave your legs out a little bit so that you have gap under the, from the ground to the leg. You don't want to be jamming these legs into a curb. It would be very, very expensive. So if you're going to be outside and you don't have a lot of clearance, you can always tilt the seat back. So if I tilt the seat up a little bit, you'll see right here. Look at the distance. Now just a couple of inches here give you about four inches over here. Okay. So that's that. Let's turn the chair around. Let's look at the front. All right. This is a big boy chair here, so this seat is 24 by 24, so this is a super large seat. This is not vinyl, this is not leather, this is tweed, I don't know, it's a breathable material, you will not sweat with this material. Same back, it's a large 20 inch back. The seat is 24 by 24, the back is 20 inches. You've got your headrest. Also, as I mentioned earlier, you've got the swing away joystick. Maybe I did not. This is a swing away joystick. If you're right-handed, it's already set up for the right. If you're left-handed, we can put everything on the left side, no problem at all. The arms, these are gel arms. You can see when I'm pushing on here, this is full of gel, okay? These are the upgraded gel arms. Also under this arm, you have a USB port right here. You can plug your phone, you wanna charge your phone right there. You also have a retractable safety belt on this chair. There's a belt here that goes all the way across to here. Okay, when you're done, it goes back in. That's called a retractable belt. You also have an, an, a pouch on this side, a permobile pouch on this side. So, let's go in a circle. This is your turning radius. This is a mid wheel, so it will turn all day long in its own length. So whatever the length of the chair is, it'll turn in its own length all day long. Let's look at the back of the chair. The back of the chair, we've got push bars. This is another upgrade. So if you ever had to push this chair, you've got somewhere to push instead of leaning on the back right here. You, you have push bars. You also have right here what's called the tenon control. Right here, if, if I wanted to, I could adjust this so it's a little bit higher. And I would hit the mode button here, switch it, and I could drive this chair with this, with this button right here. This is called an tenon control. The chair is slipping in here because the floor is slippery, so I, I don't have good traction in here. But the, this is already on here. If you don't want it, you can also put it down like this, out of the way. Or you can just disconnect the cable and take the whole thing off. This is called an attendant control for people who cannot drive in the front. So when this one is working here, this one's not going to work. So you have to make sure you turn it back off so you can switch it back to here. If you don't turn it off over here, Everything's going to light up and nothing's going to move in the front, okay? You have bag hooks also, if you want to carry a backpack or groceries. You've got your fully adjustable headrest. You've got your adjustable arm. So if I turn this right here, this cylinder, it tips the arm up or down on both sides. This one for this side, this one for this side. At the bottom right here, we've got the power button. This is where we turn the power off when we ship these chairs. So when you receive your chair, the first thing you do is go here and turn the power back on, right here, okay? One last thing about this chair. I did tell you this chair had a lot of stuff on it. This chair has the electric, has the lights. So if I go here, you can see the lights. These are the real lights. These are the, the full light kit right here. You can see in the front. And you can see the lights in the back. It also has hazards. And it has flashers. And we'll turn the lights off. So this chair is fully equipped with the light package.
So when you charge the batteries on this chair, you take your permeable charger, you plug it right below the joystick, and the batteries will charge to this charger here. And as soon as the light goes to 100%, the charger will cut off. So the battery range on this chair is about 15 miles, but listen, that 15 miles is not in concrete. It all depends on the weight of the user. If you're in the grass, going uphill, how you drive the chair, how much you use a seat list. So you might get more than 15, you might get less. So that's just a number, a perfect number going downwind, okay? So let's recap. This is a Permobil M300 HD heavy duty, 450 pound weight capability, fully loaded. It was used from anywhere from six months to a year part-time. It has the eight inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric leg. It also has the swing away joystick, the gel arms, the retractable safety belt, the uh, breathable cushion of 24 by 24, same thing for the back. You've got the push arms, you've got the bag hook, you've got the attendant control. You also have the USB port. You have the bag holder back here. You can put your glasses and your wallet in that bag. So this chair has a lot and it has the light kit, of course, that I just, we just covered earlier. It's got the full light kit. So this is a heavy duty power chair, very heavy duty, very heavy, weighs over 440, 450 pounds. So um, this, is, this, is, this is a heavy duty power chair, really good condition. So if you need something with a large seat, this would be the one to look at. So this chair is a little big for me, but it does ride really good. Um, six miles an hour. Top speed is six miles an hour. This chair rides better with a, with a heavy person in it because it's got heavy duty suspension. And we're gonna go through the grass. They should have no problem in the grass. You can see the suspension. It's a little rough out here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the seat lift up now this chair, as I said earlier, you cannot drive this chair with the seat elevated. So, I mean, that's just a safety feature because of the way the seat lift is built. They don't want you driving with 400 pounds of weight shifting on that seat post. <clears throat> so this chair will not drive with the seat elevated. But as I said, it does have the seat lift. It does have the tilt, the recline, the legs, the gel arms. Just, it's a fully loaded, heavy duty, Permobil M300 HD. It was used roughly six months to a year part-time. Ready to go. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family-owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677-6293, or you can visit us directly at www.marks.com mobility.com